Step one, two, three, four. Track, 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 and it ends right here. So, students, this is going to be a three-part series based on trochoids. And in today's video, we'll be comparing cycloid with the other two forms of trochoids. One is what you call an inferior trochoid, while the other is a superior trochoid. What exactly are they, and how are they sort of generated? This is something that will be. the agenda of today's session it is going to be very short and sweet most of it uh, is something that i'll be demonstrating via animation so watch this video right till the end and uh, i'm sure you'll never forget these three beautiful curves here we go let's start with a simple arrangement so what do we have you've got a, yourself a rolling circle and this straight path on which obviously this is going to roll let's see what happens when it just starts rolling and even before that uh, there is something i need to explain here it is there is a black point that i have placed okay watch this this point happens to be on the circumference of the circle okay sir no problem then there is this red point that i have placed this is inside the circumference let me write i n over here and there is this blue point which happens to be the outside the circumference so let me just write o u t you've got to focus or you've got to track all the three points simultaneously and on tracking what you get is a curve okay for the black one you are going to get a cycloid okay let me not reveal the secret right now rather let's see the demonstration step by step and uh, eventually you will gather all the knowledge here we go so rolling step 1 how does it look let me go back step 1 this is the initial phase step 1 you see this red point has moved this way isn't it ah uh, just a sec here it is simple then this black point it has moved upwards and slightly towards the right and as far as this blue point is concerned again it has moved this fashion in this fashion okay along an arc basically now the entire construction technique how all of these things work out uh, what are these steps that you gradually need to take in order to generate these set of curves is something that we'll be discussing in the upcoming videos for now just watch this demonstration step 1 2 3 4 you see how all of these curves are being generated aren't they lovely okay just take a look this was the point which was inside the circle okay this happened to be the point outside the circle the blue one whereas the black point uh, is on the circumference 5 6 7 8 let us go back let us revisit here we go Okay, so we are going to basically start from over here. Again, let me say this is on the circumference. Uh, this is outside the circumference. This is inside the circumference. And what happens when you keep a track of all of these points? You sort of generate three different curves. One of which is something that I have already discussed in detail, and even the construction technique. All of those things I have already been discussed. You can watch those videos. I'll also link it up in the description down below. This black one. Okay. is a curve generated by a point on the circumference is popularly known as a cycloid lovely okay as far as the point which was outside is concerned let me show that to you once again the curve generated by this blue colored point okay this blue colored curve that you see is going to generate a curve which is popularly known as a superior trochoid and the one which was inside is going to generate a curve which is known as an inferior trochoid i hope I sincerely hope that uh, this animation has helped you understand the concept of uh, cycloids and trochoids, and rather their comparison through one single rolling circle or generating circle. I mean, this would have been very, very helpful. Now, let us see the entire animation in a very uh, fluid way, in a very continuous fashion. This was rather stepwise. Let me show that to you. Here we go. Just watch all of these points. Focus. I'm going to run the animation two to three times so that you get a very good hold of the concept. Okay. Here we go. Watch the red point first of all. This is the point which is inside. Okay, so point which is inside would generate a trochoid, popularly known as an inferior trochoid. Watch the students. Here we go. Point inside. Track. Track, 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 and it ends right here. Okay, what is that, sir? That is an inferior trochoid. Lovely. Now keep a track of this black point. As the circle rolls, wherever this point goes. Okay, we'll keep a track of it, and then we are going to finally join all of those points in proper sequence. What you get is a beautiful curve by the name of cycloid. Lovely. 
okay once again and finally we are going to do it for this one point outside just take a look this blue point obviously it is going to create uh, a blue trail or a blue curve this is what it is here it is so this basically is another curve known as a superior trochoid now students you need to remember this if the point happens to be inside the circumference of the rolling or generating circle the curve that you are going to get is an inferior trochoid if the point is outside the curve that you are going to generate is a superior trochoid So guys, that was all for today. And if you want to learn engineering drawing in depth, there is a course running right now in my application. I've linked it up in the description down below. Go ahead, download the Manas Patnaik app and enroll in my course as soon as possible. So that is all for today. See you again in the next video. Thank you very much. Good day.